Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Brittany. So I have this quick half wig for you guys, synthetic half wig for you guys from Sensational. If you're interested in seeing how I got this look together, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I am going to be trying Sensational's Moneymaker. This is a half wig version. I did show you guys this wig back in 2020, but the lace front version. Um, yeah, I got it in a color number two. It is from Sensational's Curls, Kinks & Co collection. And I have it in a number two. And I picked mine up from Amazon, but you can pick it up anywhere you want to. I'll have my Amazon affiliate link in the description box for you guys. I wanna try to not leave out too much hair. So here are the curls here. That's the curl pattern. It's like a ringlet curl pattern. And then we have one long comb around the front. And then we have a comb in the back and adjustable straps as well so i'm kind of in a hurry so that's why i decided to do this wig today i am going to take my rat tail comb here and just lift some of my natural hair in the front because it's in braids but my braids look like terrible <laughs> right now so i'm just going to take some of my hair out in the front and hopefully we won't need more than just that little bit of hair I am going to wear mine straight on because I saw somebody on TikTok wear theirs straight on and it was pretty. So, And I'm just gonna separate the curls until it looks not so uniform.
guys so you saw how I got this wig together so with half wigs I feel like they are very beginner friendly if you are new to wigs that's a that's a really nice way to get into wearing wigs because you don't have to fool with any lace you don't have to tint any lace to make it look good outside or in different lighting situations and stuff like that you just have to pull out a little bit of a little bit of your hair or you can wear a headband and not even have to blend your hair so I like that this hair is a kinkier texture so it's going to it does blend a lot better with my natural hair and i have a very little amount of leave out right at the front there the only thing that's a little bit difficult with this wig is trimming it to trimming it and cutting layers around the face to make it you know suit your face because i have like a longer face so i do need layers around the face to kind of break it up and you don't have to wear it straight on. You can tilt it to the side to give it a different kind of look. But I wanted to wear mine straight on and kind of create like a heart shape with my wig. Early on on my YouTube channel, I did Ushri Irene. And I showed you guys how to cut layers into your curly, uh, curly like bigger wigs like this. Um, I, it's still relevant. If you want to watch that video, you can. I'll have it on the info card for you guys. It's from like 2014. But I think this turned out pretty cute. And I think this is one of those wigs that's going to look good um, the older it gets. I don't have any shedding or tangling or anything like that. With this big curly hair, the only time I'm going to be running my hands through it is when I am separating the curls. And you have to be careful with separating the curls if you want to kind of preserve like the curl pattern it has. Because it's a very pretty curl pattern. In the back, I don't even think I've separated all the curls because it's you know a very full wig so i didn't separate all the curls and i do have like some frizzy spots here i think a little bit of frizz is going to make your wig look more natural but um if you want it to be a little bit more you know refined with the curls and keeping the curl pattern then don't separate the curls out too much but I feel like you can make this wig look a lot of different ways depending on what you're going for. You can definitely make it into a, a bang wig if you want to, but I wanna show my face and even some of my ears a little bit with this wig. So I switched out to my hoop earrings. I don't usually, lately, or probably over the last like year or so, I don't wear my extra large hoops like I used to, but with this hair, I feel like it calls for something more dramatic like this and more dramatic large earring to match the energy of the wig. So if you want like a cute, easy summer style that's giving like um, a very natural look, then you can check this wig out. I'll have it linked um, in the description box for you guys. I feel like I would probably I would probably rate this wig like I'm going to say a solid 8 because I feel like it's very beginner friendly. The only thing that is like right now I'm still getting this together. Yeah, the only points I'm taking off is that it does take a minute to kind of get it where you want it to be, but I like that you can you can get that kind of customized look the more you play around with it. And with these half wigs, these synthetic half wigs, they're not as expensive. And you're gonna get like the her given hair look and everything under like $30. So will it last as long as a her given hair wig? Probably not, more than likely not. But my wigs last a long time, first of all, because I have, I have a very large collection of wigs, so I don't wear the same wig all the time. Rotating your wigs with like two or three different wigs will extend the longevity of your wig. So um, you don't have to have a huge collection. So they can last a pretty long time. Um, it just depends on how you set them up in your rotation. That's how I make mine last so long. So, so this wig ended up being the most worn wig of May. I The second time I wore it, I went ahead and cut it up some more. As you can see, I have more layers around the front of my face to frame it a little bit more. And I took it up a little bit higher off my shoulders and this is such a beautiful wig and I love the natural texture and I just got the hang of it um, even more the more that I wore it. So I wore this several times and this doesn't always happen with my synthetic wigs. It's just, it's just a wig that's gonna look better with time and just playing around with it. Um, and if you are somebody who suffers from hair loss or you don't want to worry about um, blending your hair, they do have a lace wig version, as I told you guys. I'll link both of those, the half wig version and the lace version uh, for you guys. Overall, love this wig. I would definitely rate it higher than the eight after actually wearing it 
you know, several times. I probably rate this like a nine, nine and a half. Such a gorgeous look and I wore it to different events and stuff like that. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.